two, one. How you doing, Steve Noble, Noble Moto? Uh, we're going to do today some reviews of a product. Um, so we've got the uh, Cardo Pack Talk Bowl intercom system. A lot of people are running headsets now these days, uh, Bluetooth and intercom headsets. Um, I travel a lot, uh, so I've kind of dabbled in a few different ones here and there over the years. Uh, in 2012, I bought the Cena SMH10 because uh, it was kind of the product of the time. Uh, and it was a pretty good product. Um, I was happy with it. It linked to my phone. I could connect with my friends. We were riding. And it was a pretty good setup. Um, over time, you know, the, the, seat, the units still worked, but I felt the technology out in the market had surpassed what I still had. So uh, last winter, I upgraded. Um, so this is my one year, one season review on these. So upgrade to the Cardo Pack Talk Bowl. All right, so uh, one of the first things I absolutely love about this Aircom system, especially over the CNS, is the speaker, the sound quality. The Bluetooth linking music is just unbelievable in comparison to the CNS. Also, not directly knocking Cena, we're talking 2012 technology versus 2019, 2020 technology. So you're talking eight years and we know how fast that escalates. Um, so the good things I have to say about the Pack Talk, and just to clarify, Pack Talk, uh, Cardo didn't send me these. I paid for these full price, so I'm not giving anybody lip service here. Partially, I just don't do that. Uh, so it's relatively simple to operate, um, though it does have smaller buttons. Uh, with the Cena, it was all one big knob. Um, with the Cardo, it's still relatively simple to operate. Turn it on. You have your three, four buttons here. You have your volume roller right here, which is also a button, too. You have a little flip-up antenna for extra distance. Um, and, of course, the thing just, when you want to take it off the headset unit, it snaps off like so. So pretty straightforward there. Whoop. There we go. Now, there's a low-profile model out there that I looked at, but um, a lot of reviews said it only works with certain helmets. And uh, I have one of these, and my wife has the other one, and we run different helmets. So I figured we'll just stick with this setup uh, instead of trying to make sure what fits our head also works with the headset. So this is on a AGV K series. Uh, this is what I use. I'm pretty happy with it. I have a giant head, and it fits me, so we're good there. Um, so... Like I said, the sound quality on this thing's fantastic. The battery life on this thing is fantastic, especially compared to the Cena, and it charges faster. Um, the my only gripes with this thing are, you know, with the Cena, you had the big knob on the side, so it was easy to like swat it with my shoulder or swat it when I had gloves on or something. Uh, with the smaller buttons, it is a little trickier to use, though. Once you get familiar with it, you do get some muscle memory. Uh, the knob isn't quite as easy to find, you know, if you're trying to swat the thing in traffic to turn something off or on or try to hear something to turn it up and down. Um, that's probably my only real gripes with it. Um, one of my wife's complaints with the thing is, you know, it has the noise canceling uh, microphones, everything on it. And with hers, with her helmet and everything and background noise, for whatever reason, uh, we really had to fiddle with the settings before we found it, found out, you know, what exactly worked. The upside is, with the Cena, you're just stuck with what you got. With the Cardo, uh, there is an app uh, for your phone, so you can adjust your microphone sensitivity, you can adjust the noise canceling sensitivity. I don't know exactly the details how that works, but it's got little slider things there on the app. I'll show you the app in a second. Uh, so with that in mind, all that really works pretty well, and I really have no complaints about that. Once we got it set in, it was pretty good. Um, I know... Mine right out of the box worked for my voice pretty well. My wife, we had to fiddle with it a lot, and she, you know, found that to be a little frustrating, understandable. Um, so there was definitely like an adapting curve to it. She liked the way the scene has worked before. Um, it's not that, you know, she was really set on that one brand. It just, um, she found the other ones to be a little more user friendly with gloves on and stuff. Though, no real regrets on these. Um, the boom microphone, Velcro's in here. Um, it's a little bit, it's not directly attached, uh, or it's not attached by straight out boom like the, um, like the Cena's were. It's actually on a cable. So you have a little more range as to where you can put the thing. Now I'm knocked all whack. I'll have to, uh, reattach it. But mostly Velcro's in there pretty easy. Speaker's Velcro in there pretty easy. It goes behind your liner. You've got little foam, foam covers to put them over your microphone there. So, uh, yeah, overall, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's not a cheap thing. It was like over $400 for a pair of headsets. But uh, it was definitely in case you get what you pay for. Um, uh, that's my only real gripe with it is just the size of the knob. So you upgraded the size of that knob on there, Cardo, and you'd have a great product. Uh, range, 
Uh, it's really pretty good range. Uh, a little bit, a little bit further in the Cena, even with the antenna flipped down. I really didn't range test it with the antenna up. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it. But uh, we were just down in West Virginia with the mountains and trees and the rocks and everything, and still had really good range. Um, ironically, uh, the inter oh, I'm sorry, the intercom sound. Uh, ironically, the noise cancellation in the intercom sound works so well. Um, you'll end up, it's so silent and quiet when you're riding. Then when you, the person on the other end speaks, it'll actually startle you because there's no background noise. So you don't have like this white noise that you're used to hearing. And then they speak. All of a sudden there's just a voice. And, um, so kind of testament to how well the uh, noise cancellation really works on there. Uh, that's all I really got on there. Um, pretty happy with the product. I'll show you the app here in a second. Um, as far as if you're considering headsets at all, especially if you have a new rider with you, I highly, highly recommend the, having headsets. Uh, when my wife started riding, being able to communicate with to her in the moment and say, hey, you did a really good job, that was a really good line around the turn, or hey, watch out for that weirdo right there, or whatever it is, having the headsets was way easier than the way we did it before, where, you know, we get to an intersection, I'd be like, hey, remember three miles back and the one thing, blah, 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 blah? Yeah. So, having headsets for a new rider was an excellent thing to have. Um, and my wife being a very competent rider now, um, you know, we can still communicate where we're going. We both listen to music on there, sometimes the same music, sometimes different music. Um, the one big question everybody has is, you know, Cardo claims, oh, you can link it to other brand headsets, um, which is true, but it's only through Bluetooth. So, you're not getting a thousand meters um, from one brand to another. So, what's the range on Bluetooth? 40, 60 feet, something like that? So, keep in mind that. But, it does link though. Three, two, one. Alright, so right here, uh, we got the app that goes with the thing. Um, I'm going to try to do this while watching the monitor, uh, so I can actually see what's going on where here. Um, so, right up here, boop. I said boop. There we are. Alright, so in here, you can go into your audio settings. It has an FM radio. Who listens to the FM radio? But it is there. So you can go to your audio settings. And here's where you can adjust your automatic volume sensitivity, your microphone sensitivity, voice recognition sensitivity, the audio mixer. All my stuff is sitting pretty much in the middle and it works for me. Uh, for my wife's voice, we'd change it a little bit. So your priorities, intelligent noise block, and everything. Boop. Boop. There we are. But pretty straightforward, pretty simple to use. Um, you also got the user support guide here, so when you forget which button does what or how to pair the thing with your friends, uh, you're sitting pretty good with it. We'll go back. Boop. And, uh, yeah, so you can also choose who you're linked up to. Uh, you know, so you can have different groups set up on here with your Bluetooth connection or your DCM. So you don't have to repair every time you go out riding with a new friend. Alright, one of the other things on here. Uh, now I showed you the settings. Here, try to, uh, set up there. So you can go, still go run your music control through your MP3 player right through the thing. Um, switch back and forth on songs. Of course, phone, intercom, FM radio to whoever uses the FM radio. Uh, but yeah, pretty straightforward app. Pretty happy with the thing. Um, it's got pretty good sound. The volume, uh, you were definitely never um, lacking on volume. Assuming you can hear that. Yeah, it'll uh, blow your eardrums out, you know, and your ears will ring. So, you don't really lack on volume where um, some of the other ones, I know I've heard people come say they're a little weak here or there. Um, so, I'm pretty happy with this thing. So, yep, that's all I got.